Happy New Year, guys. Happy New Year. Bit late, but I'm here. Happy New Year. Snow outside. Hot brew in hand. If you don't know what a brew is, it's what us Northern English people call a cup of tea. A lot of people, even in England, don't know what a brew is. But uh, yeah, it's just what we call a brew. Sorry for the lighting in here as well. So some of the lights are out like down that end. So it can get a bit dark at times, as I noticed it just did then. <coughs> so, due to the snow, we're back, as you can see, at the undercover car park. I brought the rail along with me. And we're going to see what we can do. But first, I'm going to warm up, not by some skateboard tricks, but by my brew slash cup of tea. session there today guys. A couple of reasons. One, it was just cold. Two, I was hungry. And three, I wasn't skating very well anyway. That first board slide, you wouldn't believe how long it took me to actually land one. So, the skateboarding was what it was. But, in this video, I really wanted to concentrate on what I'm going to do for the full year. My trick list. I wrote one out last year, and it started off pretty well. I learnt the board slide. I was getting better with my axle stalls, which is two of the things on my list. And then it just went downhill, and I just didn't really stick to the plan. To be fair, I didn't really learn much else other than the board slide last year. So this year... I'm making this video and I'm posting it out there and I want you guys to see my list and that will hopefully push me to actually go ahead and get this list done this year instead of last year just being happy with one or two things off the list. So here it is guys, this is my 2021 trick list. So here it is guys, number one as I think you've seen at the end of that video, something I really need to work on. Ollieing over, on and down objects. It's not so much getting the pop and the height, it's just more confidence base that I need to be on these. I should be able to do them, I just need to have the confidence to know that I can do them. So it's more, it could be quite difficult because it's more of a confidence thing, not a skill thing. And I think to gain confidence is probably harder than it is to gain the skill. Some people may look at it the other way, but confidence is sort of something that's ingrained in there. Not knowing the skill is something you can learn. So we'll see how that one goes. But then number two here, higher and faster 50-50s. I think that just sort of goes hand in hand with the ollies over on and down things because 
once I start doing that, I think the 50-50s will get better as well. And I think they sort of come hand in hand, so I think they're both good to have on the list. And then a fakey tail stall. This is one I had on my trick list last year. And it's super easy trick. Again, it's just the confidence of riding up that ramp fakie and slamming that tail down and getting used to that motion. I didn't commit myself enough to this trick though last year. I tried it on and off a few times, but I never really give it a full throttled go. So this year I definitely want to get that. And then the switch rock and roll, again, this could be like the starting point to learning the fakie tail stalls because you can learn, ride up and you don't really have to slam down on the tail. But it's for this one, it's the more of the re-entry that could be the issue, like you're doing a nose manual into the ramp. So I want to learn that one. And then the next two both go along. It, rock and roll, that's not the right term, actually. I don't want rock and roll. I want rock to fakie. Honestly, not a uh, rock and roll. If I can get a switch rock and roll, then sweet. But rock to fakie is the one I'm looking for. And then here, body varial again. If it's a rock and roll or a rock to fakie, either either or. But they're the same sort of thing. Once I've learned the switch rock and roll, I think trick number four will be key to getting trick number three and getting trick number five. They could potentially be all learned, even with trick number three. All of them could potentially be learned on the same day. Now, I want to get my kickflips back. Yes, I can still do them now and again. But it's, it takes me a while to get one, if I do get one. Fakey varial kickflip. This is a trick that I've been so close to a lot of, a, for a very, very long time, even when I used to skate. I've never landed one, but I'm so close to it. And I have to just spend some time to try and get it. And I think I will land a fakie varial kickflip, no problem. So I think that one is potentially quite an easy one. That one for me is probably, I know this may sound strange, but number seven there is probably easier than all of the above. Five up to one. Obviously not number six, but five to one. I'd say I'm more likely to get that one before these. Because these are more confidence-based things. That is just something, it's just a skill, and I think I can get. All Emmanuel. Again, it's not something I've really tried that much. I've never been great at manuals. So maybe that could be a tough ask to do an Oli manual because manuals are just not my thing. But it's on the list and I'm going to try and get it this year. Number nine, Fakie 360 Shove It. Much like the Fakie Tail stall, I have tried this in the past, but I've just not committed myself to session after session after session going after it. It's been one session, tried it a bit, got sort of close, then left it for a while. Gone, tried it again, another session, and it's like starting it all over again. Got pretty close, and then stopped. So this should definitely be one I should get. And then, final one on the list is the nose slide. Never really properly tried nose slides. But since I've learnt board slides, that is the next natural step, I suppose. So, hopefully we can get that one as well. So there are my 10 tricks guys, I've put them out there now. I have to go through and try and get these 10 tricks. If I don't get all 10, I won't be too unhappy. There's some in there that I feel I really should get, which is getting the kickflips back and getting the fakie varials. The rest of them, could be a challenge. Oh, Fakie 360 Shove It should be one that I should easily get as well. And then the rest of them, it's just trying to get over that confidence issue. I just need to be more confident skate-wise. And then I should be able to get those tricks. So, it's more of a confidence list than it is a skill-based trick list. But it's all tricks that I can't do or that need much improvement. And hopefully, during the course of this year, 
I will have that improvement. So, Happy New Year guys. Let's hope this year is a good year for skateboarding. For both me and you guys. What's your trick list for the year? What are you planning on learning? Let me know down below. Hopefully if some of you guys are trying to learn the same tricks as me, we can help each other out with little bits of information. So that's it for this one guys. We'll see you in the next one where maybe I'll be learning one of those new tricks. But I wouldn't hold your breath. See you in the next one guys.